Uh, greetings, this is Almondorius. I'm taking out my tier 6 Matsuki. Interesting here, we have on my team, four destroyers. On their team, one destroyer. However, they have two Atlantis. And Atlantis are not fun for destroyers. Well, they're not fun for anything they come up against, really. As long, unless you can stay outside of their range. Or not be spotted. But anyway, the, uh, I think I'd like to take this moment to talk about the changes that are coming up to the Minikaze, um, and how it relates to the Matsuki. Now, I am, as, it's, as the game right stands right now, I am one of the people that say the Matsuki is a definite downgrade to the Minikaze. Now, I had been hoping they would make improvements to the, uh, Matsuki. Uh, instead, they are nerfing the crap out of the Minikaze. Now, as some of you might have known, uh, noticed, but uh, Minikaze is my favorite Tier 5 destroyer. Basically, my favorite Tier 5 ship. It's maneuverable, it's fast, uh, hard to spot, and capable of uh, putting torpedoes down uh, downrange pretty quick. But, that combination of uh, traits has led to people calling it overpowered. Now, I can understand that, because in all honesty, the uh, there wasn't a Tier 5 that could compare to it. And it is a destroyer that I, feel, I felt comfortable going up against Tier 8s in. But, uh, I'm just reading the chat there. Uh, anyway. The thing of it is, is that they're, uh, like I said, I had been hoping they would have improved the Matsuki. The Matsuki is not, a, I guess it's not a terrible ship, it's my own bias speaking to that. But, on the other hand, it's, uh, I can't watch torpedoes as long as this guy's in front of me. There's Pensacola. He's turning. I might be able to do some launches. There we go. Now to get my arse out of here before that Tago spots me. Anyway, um... Ooh, I'm gonna get spotted. Shoot. Engine boost activated. That would be kind of funny if I hit that one. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of forced him to stay in a straight line, though. Let's start bombardment. Anyway, the, uh, I mean, yeah, like I was saying, my, my own personal biases against the Matsuki, because I had such bad experiences with it. But, I don't like it that much. But, on the other hand, if they nerf the, uh, Minikaze to the extent that I've been hearing... Oops, didn't mean to, team, to steal, uh, kill steal there. Um, then it will, Matsuki will then be a, an actual step up, an actual upgrade. Which, you know, isn't a bad thing, so I mean, you know, like, the, the pre preceding tier ship shouldn't be as better, uh, should not be better, uh, than the ship that comes after it. But I am gonna miss the, the mini using the Minikaze as I have been. Oh my. Oh well, all good things must come to an end. Oh, hello there. What's your name? Atla uh, Atlanta, 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 Atlanta. Uh oh. Don't spot me, don't spot me, don't spot me. Have some torpedoes. Running away now. I'm hoping that Atlanta carries on his course and that some of those torpedoes may actually hit. Oh, 
Engine ooh, boost ooh, deactivated. Looks like I'm getting a hit. Aww. Oh well. See, that's one thing I never had an issue with in the Minikaze. Like, he, I, of course, that wasn't that was even a close launch. But was hitting things. The Matsuki is hard to hit things in. At least how I play the Destroyer. I don't know. I might be playing. Like I said, I usually I typically play area denial, uh, long range sniping. But if he keeps going the way he's going, he's gonna run into me, and I don't like that. There we go. No. I don't want to go too far. He's making a hard turn. There. Turning more of a sharp vector away. And the reason I watch those torpedoes that far behind is that if he turns to north, which he doesn't have much choice but to turn north, then he will run into that uh, second set of torpedoes. Hopefully. Ah, uh, shoot. That's the only thing about the Yolanda. Highly maneuverable. <laughs> But I'm keeping him away from that Pensacola for as much as I can. Oh, he's looking for me. He knows I'm out here. Look at the way the guns are sweeping back and forth. <laughs> Alright, I'm gaining on I'm gaining ground on him again. I'm gonna have to play cat and mouse with this guy for the rest of the game. Now, that'll make him force a turn to the west, I do believe. He's turning east. That's annoying. See, I can't... If I try to get in close to the Atlanta, that's, that's it. It's game over. I can't hit. The Atlanta has super crazy levels of. Ah, uh, nuts. Now, oh, those torpedoes are going to be a, a, sheer, a sheer miss. But the Atlanta has crazy. Anyone that's played this game knows the Atlanta has a crazy rate of fire. Look at the way he's turning. Look at the way he's facing. Those guns whip around too fast for me to try to, uh... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's looking right at me and he's actually gaining on me. Engine boost activated. Yeah, he's still looking right at me. <laughs> Can't, I don't dare shoot at him because if he, the moment he spots me and starts opening fire, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, speed up. Now, hopefully that'll catch him. I don't think it will. This guy's been very canny about his turns and his movements. I think he actually just slowed down just a little bit. Oh, he's looking away. I 
he's making a hard turn, but I think I might get him this time. Yeah! Got him, got him with once. Wrecked his uh, steering or engines, I'm not sure which. Got him again. <laughs> now nah, I gotta give props to uh, Meat Shield Moe there. Really, really, really. The only reason I got him is he turned his attention away to what was going on on uh, in B. Not gonna complain about that. Our victory is in sight. I just wasted a bunch of torpedoes, though. <laughs> All right, now we got a Kuma in Atlanta. Now the Kuma is not a bad uh, little uh, cruiser either. Set. Uh, I actually have one and uh, enjoy playing it. That was, that was an interesting little chase. I've never been chased that far. I'm, well, actually, today's been the day of chases. Um, I am going to put up my Fuso video where I was chased by the uh, majority of the enemy team across the map. That was uh, that was interesting. Um, at least here, I actually had a little bit of support from my team. Uh, the other one, I did not. I mean, they had their own stuff to worry about, but still, it would have been nice for at least a destroyer to come back and try to want, break them up by launching torpedoes. And here we have the Hatsuharu learning why you don't uh, get in the way of getting uh, anywhere near in Atlanta. The enemy team has taken the lead. Yeah, I can't catch that. Atlanta's still in that cloud there. There he is. Yeah. I'm spotted now, so any second now the rain of fire is going to start. Her turn. Yeah, when an land is firing at you, losing your ability to maneuver is not good. I might have to help this Nagata while fighting it. Someone got him good. Colorado. Ha <laughs> ha! Good job, Colorado. Now, the Kuma's rate of fire is nothing to sneeze at either. It doesn't have the volume that the Atlanta does. But, it's got decent rate of fire. Torpedoes to port. Let's see if how much attention this guy's paying. Leave my buddy in the Nagato alone. Ooh, that's a lot of damage for a destroyer. Oh, 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 I think I got him. Yep. Enemy cruiser destroyed. See if I can't go in and get some points. They only got their carrier left. Oh, it's a Lexington. They only got the carrier and the Otago left. Hey, guns back online. Is 
targeting the uh, dive bomber, Ooh, torpedo bombers. Ah, uh, we got this. Not a bad game. Let's see how I did. <laughs> For only two ships on 4,402 experience, I like it. I'm definitely not in the top. Oh, wait, crap, I was second on the team. Second overall as well. Nice. That's for relatively little, uh, few hits. I mean, I hit with four shells and three, uh, three torpedoes. Of course, I launched 54 torpedoes and hit with three of them, so... <laughs> but there was a good reason for that. Uh, again, props goes to, uh, Meat Shield... Uh, Moe there, who did an exceptional job dodging torpedoes. Anyway, this has been Alan Dorius. I hope you enjoy watching this video.